Hello everyone. One very powerful aspect of MemberPress is found in our powerful marketing add-ons. Our MemberPress email marketing add-ons allow you to customize exactly what type of emails your users will receive. With them, you can ensure that your users are always a part of at least one list, which is the global list, or you can disable that altogether if you want as well. The real power, however, comes from being able to set up per membership lists or tags to deliver relevant content to your users. In this introductory video to our MemberPress MailChimp add-on, I will be showing you first how to create a list in MailChimp, how to connect that to MemberPress, and finally go through a test, test sign up so you can see how the add-on works. If you are already familiar with how to do this, please skip ahead to the video a little below this one where we will be setting up per membership merge tags in MemberPress with this add-on. Let's start with creating a list in MailChimp. After you've logged into your MailChimp account, which I've done here, you'll click on the menu item for lists. Then click the create list button here. The add-on does not currently support groups, so if you get this message, just create list. On this page, you'll need to fill out the information asked for. Okay, so I have filled out that information here, calling the list members because it will be for my global list or all users on my site. Once you filled out the information, you can scroll down and we'll make note that here, you don't need to worry about the form settings because this will be controlled in the options of the add-on within MemberPress. And for notifications, you can set that up how you want it as well and then simply click save. After creating the list, the next thing that you need to do is add a global merge tag that users are assigned to when added automatically to your list. This is what MailChimp uses to track who gets what emails. The way that you get to that setting is by going to the list. So here I'm already here, but if not, you would click list and then click on your list and then come in here to settings and then you're looking for this option here list fields and merge tags and on this page you can create that tag so you can click the add field here or edit one of the ones up here just note that if you're adding a new field make sure that you select text as the option as text fields are the only ones that the MailChimp add-on currently accepts So, as you can see here, this field has been created, and I'm going to give this merge tag a name. In this case, I'm using this merge tag for my global list in MemberPress, so I'm going to name this members, just like my list name. Next, I'm going to want to make sure that both of these options are unchecked. You do not want your list, um, your merge tag to be required, or visible. The MailChimp add-on will take care of that for you. An additional note while we're here is that you should also make sure that others are not required as well. If you do require other fields, then it could cause a user to not be added to your MailChimp list correctly. For example, MemberPress does not send address information to MailChimp. So if you have required an address field like this one, then the user won't ever get added to the list because that information is never sent to MailChimp. And if MailChimp never gets it, they're not going to add them to the list. In this case, you may also consider cleaning up the merge tags a little bit just so you don't have any duplicates or information that's just not going to be necessary either. So you can go ahead and delete those or just leave them unrequired and not visible. After you create the merge tags, be sure to save which I failed to do with my other merge tag. So I'm going to go ahead and simply give this a name again and make sure it's not required and then save changes. With that, you're ready to get this list connected with the MemberPress MailChimp add-on. To get it activated on your site, go to your WordPress dashboard, MemberPress, Activate, and then on the Activate page, you'll click the Add-on link which can be seen here. 
Here you'll scroll down until you find the MailChimp add-on. Click install and this will take you through the installation and activation process of the add-on. With the add-on installed you'll want to come into your MemberPress options and then go over to the marketing tab. And here is where you'll set up MailChimp. So because I've already had the this set up before in the past, it auto-populated with the information, but in your case, these are going to show up as blank. Um, so let me go ahead and show you where you can find that information. As a side note before we do that, if for whatever reason you don't see the enable MailChimp here, then that means you haven't properly installed and activated the add-on so just make sure that that's been done uh, correctly. Next, you'll want to enter your MailChimp API key which can be found in your MailChimp account. Let me show you where. So you're going to come up here to the little drop down menu on your name, go to account, and then on this page go to extras API keys and this is where you will get those API keys. Just simply scroll down and then copy and paste the key that you see there. If you don't see an existing key then you'll click the create a key button to create one and then copy and paste it. After you've copied your key come into your account and click paste and then you should see a green message that says everything's chimpy and if that's the case, then you're, you've correctly entered your API key. Next, the setup is quite easy. With this connected, you'll see a couple of list options or any list that you've created. In this case, I'm selecting my members list because that's what's associated with this site. And for the global merge tag, I'm selecting members like I said before. Now make note of this. This merge tag will be set to a value of one for all member press subscribers. If a user is not correctly added to this merge tag, it'll be given a value of zero. And this will probably make a little bit more sense when I do a test sign up so that you can see it in action. The other options here include enabling a double opt-in email, meaning that when the user signs up on your registration page, if they click to opt into your uh, mailing list, they will also receive an email to formally opt in. In this video I'm not going to be doing that so I'm not going to enable this option. And the other is to enable the opt-in checkbox um, on the member press registration page with this option here and to give it uh, a description. Just know that if you are using this single opt-in option here you may or may not want to enable the opt-in box checked by default option here. In this case, for my testing purposes, I don't want the opt-in to be checked by default. And then with all this set up, I'm going to click Update Options to save this uh, integration. With that saved, we are ready to test this out. Assuming you have a gateway set up in test mode to do a test sign up, you can see how this add-on works. If you don't, please see our payment gateway documentation pages for how to set up a test gateway. I'm just going to visit my registration page in an incognito window. Okay, so here I am on my website in an incognito window and I filled out the information here for this test user and selected my gateway and here is the opt-in um, checkbox that I mentioned earlier. And I'm going to click that so I can get added to this list. Click sign up. Then I will enter my test card credentials and pay for this membership. Alright, so I completed that payment. Now let me show you how this looks in MemberPress and in MailChimp. So in MemberPress you can see that this test sign up was done successfully and in MailChimp if I come over here you'll see that I've got my list here and I've got one new subscriber. If you click on the list, you'll be able to see more details. So you can see the email address that I used to sign up with, um, first and last name, which is the only other information besides email that we will send to MailChimp. 
and I can see that I have an active tag here for this members tag as I mentioned earlier. So that's it. Now please note that all users are added to this global list regardless of if they have actually paid you. They will also stay on your global list until they unsubscribe from the list through the unsubscribe button on one of your MailChimp emails. If you only want users to get your MailChimp emails if they have paid you and have an active subscription and member press to your content, then please watch the next video on this page to learn how to set up per membership merge tags. Thank you.